What's up YouTube? This is your boy Dr. ZZ and today we're gonna talk about a fun video. We're gonna talk about my top favorite movies of all time. In this corona pandemic, if you are stuck indoors with all these lockdowns, maybe you should just go give this a try. So without further ado, let's get jiggy with it. The first movie is Shutter Island. It's a mind-boggling psycho thriller movie which came out in 2010 starring one of my favorite actor Leonardo DiCaprio. This movie is based in 1954 where Ted Daniels played by Leonardo DiCaprio comes into this island called Shutter Island with his associate. He's a US Marshal and he is in this island to investigate a missing person. Basically this island is a mental hospital which is holding some of the most dangerous, criminally insane patients, and one of the patients goes missing. Could you stop that, please? Stop that! Please, stop! As the movie unravels, you'll notice something really strange happening in that hospital. For example, being a US Marshal, he is unable to get through any patient records. Doctor, we're gonna need access to the personnel files of all the medical staff, the nurses, the guards, the orderlies, anyone who was working there. I'll take your request under consideration. <laughs> Further on, you notice that when Ted Marshall goes with the security guards to look for this patient and to investigate, these security guards aren't really putting any effort in finding this patient. They're sitting around and throwing rocks. As you go deeper and deeper into the movie, you tend to notice that something is really messed up and Ted Daniels is going to find out one of the most deepest and darkest secret that has been hiding inside this hospital. Tremors are getting pretty bad. Bad. How are the hallucinations? Get out of here, Teddy. This place is going to be the end of you. Cinematography in this movie is absolutely insane, especially with the entire surrounding of the island and how this entire hospital is surrounded in the most isolated area is really cool. Every time I watch this movie, I'm just amazed by how crazy the entire plot is and how beautifully the entire story has been narrated. So this is definitely a movie that you have to see for yourself. This is not a movie, but it is a TV series. It's called Narcos. Narcos basically in Spanish means a drug lord. It is actually a biography, a biopic, a true story of a drug lord who used to be in Colombia. His name was Pablo Escobar. Que a Pablo Escobar se le respeta. Pablo Escobar was a Colombian drug lord who had rose to his crime by trafficking cocaine. What was interesting to me is that, you know, Pablo Escobar was so rich at one point that one day his daughter was feeling really cold and there was no firewood. The firewood was all wet. So to make sure that, you know, there was fire, he used his money to start a fire so that his daughter was warm. It was once said that, you know, the Colombian government was once behind Pablo Escobar and uh, they wanted to, you know, capture him. So he said that, you know, if you would let me go, I would pay off the entire national debt of Colombia. So you can imagine how rich this man was. And it, it was not just about him being a drug lord and you know raising to money, but he also committed some really vicious crimes against the Colombian people and the Colombian government. Amazing, amazing story, amazing plot and brilliant acting. This is one that is gonna just make you go from one episode to the next and binge watch. Perfect for a time like this and if you got some time, Definitely kick back and check this out. Another movie that I watched, it's called Upside Down. The movie is a romantic movie with sci-fi. It's in a world where two planets revolve around each other and therefore you have two different gravities. There is a world in the bottom and a world in the top. And in these two worlds, they are depicted by certain laws. Each world has its own gravity. So the people in the top, the gravity pulls them towards the top and the people at the bottom, called down bottom, the gravity pulls them to the bottom. Due to certain societal conditions, the people at the bottom are the poor ones and people at the top are the rich and prosperous and the two worlds are only connected through a company called Transworld where the people from down bottom can go up and work and you know provide the necessary resources. During this entire process a boy from down under ends up falling in love with a girl up above. While they try and figure their love story out things happen and uh, it changes the entire physics in that world and helps them to be together. Amazing story and amazing sci-fi. If you're a geek and you have a girlfriend perfect movie to watch because you know you get whatever you want she gets whatever she wants 
everybody's happy. This movie is one of my favorite movies as, as well. It's an old movie. I think it's based somewhere around 1970s and it's called Revenge of the Nerds. So this movie is about two best friends who are geeks, nerds, who end up enrolling in Adam's College. This is a historic moment. All right, say cheese. Cheese! And over there, they meet different types of people. So these two guys want to be popular in college, so they decide to go and join a fraternity. But the problem is that fraternity are run by bullies. One of them is run by football jocks, so they don't want anything to do with that. Anyway, college is a whole new ball game. Oh, 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 people judge you differently than they did in high school. Other fraternities is just for girls, so they did not want to do anything with nerds. So it was like they were a bit like an outcast. When you see in this story, they meet like-minded individuals. So they meet other people who are like them, like nerdish and smart, and they end up opening up their fraternity. Actually, it's so cool because all of them are so smart. They use their intelligence and brains and technology to do so many cool stuff with their fraternity. In the end of the movie, like, you know, they become one of the heroes. It's actually a very, very chill movie, something that played back with a bag of chips, have a bottle of coke and watch this movie and you're gonna feel just nice. So that was some of my favorite movies. You should definitely go and check them out and let me know if which one you liked the best. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.